Omega, and I received this delightful oh. bag. <laughs> Hi, Pooh. Come on. I received this delightful bag, and uh, I did open it up and try to film, and it didn't work out. So, as you can see, everything is unbagged already. So there is no magical, mystical first viewing because I've seen it all. Um, they said some interesting things this time, and uh, we'll start with the accessories because these ones are going to be very easy to simply say no to. There are these strange little sunglasses, which first off, aren't my style. Um, and second, I have to wear prescription. So when I wear sunglasses in the car, they have to be prescription sunglasses. So these wouldn't help me anyways. And um, as you may or may not be able to see, I'm not going to take them out of the bag because that way they're untouched for whoever does like these. Uh, they're the metal rims with the little dealy boppers that rest on your nose. And I have uh, discovered long ago that those are not the types of glasses for me in any way, shape, or form because I like to take my glasses and put them up on top of my head. And as some of you, I'm sure, have discovered uh, with those little dealy boppers and the metal rims, what happens is, is they get all caught in your hair and it's just horrible and it hurts to yank them out. And I don't like that, so I only get the solid plastic kind that just act like a headband and life is beautiful. Uh, the next is, oh, let's see, those sunglasses were, um, let's see, oh, they're London, they're called London, L-O-N-D-Y-N, in the color gold, and those are $14. Those are a no. Um, Next is this little pair of earrings that are like little flowers and they're just little stud earrings and pretty much the only place that I wear studs is in my second or third holes and these are just too big and not my flavor anyways I generally just wear a you know like a diamond or a pearl or a um, silver stud or that kind of thing so those are going to be a no and those are called the crystal earring, K-R-Y-S-T-A-L in gold color, and they are $11.99. Next, we have what looks like a, it's velvet, um, <clears throat> ribbed velvet, if you can see that, and it just reminds me of the kind of headband that one would wear when they're like nine, you know, with your Christmas dress. <laughs> and. Uh, so that's going to be a no. Um, that is called the Victorine, Victorine, V-O-V-I-C-T-O-R-I-N-E, Victorine, I'm guessing, headband, and that is $12.99. Now this necklace is actually kind of interesting, and so um, it was just loose in the bag, so I took it out so that it could be seen nicely. It has these three different V's on the end of the necklace and would hang here-ish. I'm not sure about this. It's interesting, but I don't know if it's interesting enough. Uh, and that is <clears throat> called the Amrita necklace in gold, and that is $19.99. Okay, and now we will move on to the clothes. This is amusing. This is a beautiful, beautiful, deep, dark coral color, and it has a little breast pocket that has studs on it. <laughs> and uh, I have to admit, I am not a breast pocket person, but this is amusing. So we will see how uh, this fits <clears throat> and where that pocket lands. <laughs> Uh, but I must say, I find this interesting. This is by Bazzolo, and let's see. They call it Poppy Red, and they call it the Stud T, and it is $11. Uh, let's see. Next, what's this? The Yolette dress in black and white. It has this interesting 
white stripe on the shoulder and then white cuffs and a white um, crew neck. And it looks rather short. We've run into this before with the Nadine West dresses. They are quite short. There are no pockets on this, which is kind of a bummer, but it feels very nice. It feels like it's probably rayon is my guess. 95% uh, rayon, 5% spandex. And uh, this is a size small. Let's see, dress in, uh, well, there's two. There's the Mimi and the Sherry, and they call them both just black. So this is either $35.99 or $41. I'm not sure that that dress is worth either of those prices, but we'll see what it looks like on. Uh, next, this is by Ambiance, and it is a size small. It looks like it has kind of oversized sleeves, and then this detailing, kind of like corset thing going on, on both sides there. But it looks kind of large. Uh, it's a size small, so we'll see how that fits. I'm not sure that corset tops are really my groove, but you never know until you put something on. Uh, this is also by Ambiance. Oh, this top here. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, pop the red, black. Yeah, that's another one. I'm not sure. It'll either be uh, 20 or 18.49 or 15.99. This is by Ambiance as well, and it's a little baby baby doll top with a little button detail there down the front. It's a beautiful color. I do love mustard, um, and this is kind of a bright mustard, so that's interesting. But I'm really not a baby doll person. We'll see how it fits, but generally I find that when I put them on, I feel like I'm the same age as I would be wearing that headband. It's just, to me, the baby doll is just a little girl style, um, not a grown-up style. I don't think it flatters any body shape, um, but we'll see how it fits. That, ooh, attack of the pile. Uh, that is called the Linnell in Mustard, and it is $18.49. This is by Zanana. It is a size small. It also has sleeves that seem rather oversized, and it's in this leopard print that actually has multiple colors in it. You can see there's several different levels of browns and tans and then there's some black and it seems to have a kind of a relaxed crew neck neckline so we will see how that fits but I think it's going to be huge and boxy um, so we will see once again it is a definitely a, a rayon blend which is nice. The person who's styling me now has obviously noted that I have a thing for the, the rayon tops, which I totally do. This is one that I got in either the last bag or the bag before, and I absolutely love it. It's so soft and wonderful. And this is going to be the Eliana, I believe. Oh no, the Liberty in tan and brown. <clears throat> and this is $24.99. Next, we have these amazing things. <laughs> uh, these are by Zanana as well, and they are a faux leather legging, and they look like they have nice long legs. <clears throat> and interestingly enough, I have settled for a pair of um, faux leather leggings that I got at Target. Um, but they just don't fit perfectly. They're a little bit short. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in the back here, along the back seam, there's this little thing that sticks out, this little like triangle where like 
somebody had a jump scare while they were sewing that pair or something. I don't know. But since, you know, they're leggings, whatever, it's covered up by a shirt. And when you put them on, they stretch out a little bit. And so it isn't quite as bad as when you're just looking on it. So I'm interested to try these because they do have a nice finish on them. If you look, they aren't too shiny. Uh, and they do have a little bit of texture. Um, so these could be great. We will see. And those are called, <laughs> they're called the Catwoman in black. And they're, ooh, wow, they're only $16.99. Not too shabby. Ooh, this is a beautiful color. This is by Popular 21, and it's in the size small. And this is just a gorgeous color, and it's the same rayon fabric. A little bit of a dolman short sleeve, and it's either a super long shirt or a super short dress. I'm not sure which. I'll have to look at the thing and see what they're trying to call it. Uh, it also seems to have the relaxed combination of a relaxed crew neck slash boat neck top on here. The fabric feels very nice and I like it. And let's see, top, they're calling it a top. So at least there's the hat. It's called the Vena in Aqua and it is $24.49. We'll see how that looks because that is darn long for a top. But the color is magnificent. Ugh. Then there's these. Um, you can see here, the string sticking out of the pocket and continuing to come out. <clears throat> these are extremely strange feeling. Um, 95 poly, 5% spandex, and it's the kind that's extremely poly. Uh, they have little teeny tiny strangely tiny <laughs> back pockets. Uh, they do have front pockets and they have this little detail over here that doesn't actually adjust at all but it's meant to look like it's an adjustable belt but it, it isn't. And they seem reasonably long on the inseam so we'll see how these go but I don't think that I will like these. I, I won't like the feel of, of this fabric and the threads coming out of the pocket already. Pants unraveled makes me nervous. Um, let's see, those are called the Chloe, or Clo, C-L-O-E, in beige, and those are $23.49. Next, we have this cool little unit by Hippie Chic. These sleeves are amazing. This little part is mesh. But it's not a soft mesh, it's the itchy kind of mesh. And then this fantastic zebra print, just a straight boxy-ish tunic. Um, it has a lovely v-neck and uh, definitely polyester. And we will see how this fits. It looks quite large. Um, there's no size listed in the shirt. Oh, it says small in here. So We'll see, this, this could work well or it could totally not. Um, it all depends on the fit. And we will check that out. And let's see. This is the Eliana for $15.99, which means that that other cinchy uppy top was the Scarlet for $19.49. Then, <clears throat> nice fabric here. 95% ran, 5% spandex. And this is by Blossom by P. It is just a black, looks like three quarter length sleeve swing dress, but it also looks rather short. So we will see on that. It has the standard seam down the back that most of these little swing dresses from them do. Uh, no pockets. We'll see how that fits. That could be a, a good slacker stable in the summertime. It's always nice to just have a little something to toss on. And that is, well, there's two dresses that are called, that are marked as black. One is the Mimi for $35.99 and one is the Sherry for $41.99. So I'm not sure which one that is. And 
then we have this. This is a lovely coral color and it has a slit over here to let the left leg pop out and look sexy. And it's just a pull on and it's very stretchy. It's very polyester and just the teensiest bit shinyish. Um, so we'll see how this fits. This is a, a beautiful color. I do like that very much. There's no tag in here saying who it's made by, so I have no idea. Can't tell you on that. Oh wait, maybe this will tell me. Lemite or Lemite. There we go. So this could be interesting. I love the color. Absolutely love corals. And that is the Naya, N-A-Y-A, in coral for $22. Next we have, oh yes, another thing that's just a hard no. Um, this is a scarf and it has all this nautical -y stuff on it. It's gray with, I mean, like ships and anchors and all of that. And that's just not me on several levels. So this will be a no along with the other accessories. Uh, but that is the called, oh, perfect name, the Marina Scarf in gray for $11.99. And then the last item is by Yolette again, another rayon spandex. And it is another dress. Ooh, but this one has pockets. So that's an improvement on the status there. And this looks like it might be an actual long sleeve. And then it has these little mesh panels up here at the shoulders that you can tell are totally see-through. And you can see my light through them. And they're in the back as well. And it's a very nice, kind of a teeny bit orangish, dusty rose. And it's very lovely. So we'll see as far as length on this, <laughs> how that goes. And that is the Zoe in dark mauve, they're calling that. I don't think that's dark mauve, but okay. And that is $44.99. So now we'll go ahead and do some trying on and see how all of this goes. Be right back. Dress number one. It is pretty short. Uh, the pockets are at a good spot, so I don't think that it's really supposed to be any longer. Um, but that's kind of questionable for me. I suppose I could just wear leggings under it, but it would be nice to not have to under a dress when you're trying to go for airflow and ease and all of that. Um, I'll show you. I do have a nude bra on under here, and you can see the strap, but it's not super bad or anything. From a distance you really can't tell. The sleeves are long sleeve and they actually are long sleeve. I can put my arm out and they don't climb up to here so that's nice. This type of dress you know isn't meant to be body flattering as far as I'm concerned. It's just meant to be comfy and relaxing and like I said kind of a slacker dress. Throw something on so it looks like you tried when so totally didn't. <laughs> so this is a slight maybe. I forget the price, but I think it was pretty expensive. And I don't know that I need to pay a whole bunch of money for something that's just for essentially a summer lounge outfit. But I'll have to think about it because I don't hate the way it looks, but the length is uh, kind of pushing it. <laughs> All right, next try. Here's the black dress that has the three-quarter sleeves. It is also just a 
little shortish swing dress, but it does come down a little bit more in the front and the back and then comes up on the side. So it's not quite as low on the front as the other one, though it is just the same on the sides. Um, but the front and the back, I feel a little bit safer. <laughs> um, it's okay. I, I, you know, it's comfortable. It would serve the purpose that I generally want this kind of dress for, which is just toss on and run to the store for something without having to put in a whole bunch of effort, um, but not look like a complete slacker. So this is a possibility as well, depending on the price. You can see the fabric um, is quite thin, so that's nice. Um, it would be a very light, easy breezy, you know, spring, summer evening kind of a dress. And strangely, you know, it, it's definitely black, but it's it's a blue black. You know, there's the different kinds of blacks. There's the brown black. So this is definitely a blue black because sometimes the light hits it and I think it's a super dark navy, but it's definitely black. So um, I kind of like that about it. I like the blue blacks. And she's comfy. Okay, we'll move on to the next next two pieces. This shirt, as I suspected, is just absolutely ginormous on me. I have so much room under here and so much room there. <laughs> Here's what it looks like tucked in. And um, if it fit properly, I think it would be pretty cute. I'll get up close so you can see these little sleeves here. It's really quite fun. I mean, that's adorable, but it just doesn't fit well. The shoulder seams are hanging off the sides of my shoulders here. And I'll pull it out and show you. This is, it's just ginormous on me. Um, so I know that their sizing is pretty much just small enough. Every once in a great while, they'll have something that's an extra small. So I highly doubt that there would be any way to size down on this. So this will have to be a no because it just does not fit. Um, here's the skirt. This is actually slightly fun. Um, it's super stretchy. It's like barely hanging on to my waist. Um, so it's insanely comfortable because it just kind of feels like I'm not wearing something and this slit is magical. And I rather like it because this is my bad knee that I have the scar on. So showing this knee off is far more preferable. <laughs> and uh, I love the color. I absolutely love the color. And I think this would look you know, fantastic with any of my pattern shirts that have this color in it or even just black and white. And I could toss it on with, you know, heels or tennies or anything and it's just so comfy so this is a definite possibility um, so we have a totally no and a totally maybe so let's uh, keep going so far we're doing pretty good next two pieces we have on this leopard print shirt that like I figured is ginormous I mean I could fit two of my arms in there and probably two of me uh, it a lovely fabric and it drapes nicely but it's just huge show it to you out if this fit properly I'm not sure that it would be the same um, as far as length like right now I could wear it with leggings but it's just way too fabric is amazing though and here's these pants um, no another pair of noisy pants <laughs> we know how I feel about those uh, these pockets are fine uh, there are however strings coming out all over the place on these and the pockets on the back are just hilarious I mean that is why why the length is actually okay, um, but they're noisy. 
crazy. And they're, the fabric, it's not itchy, it's not even borderline itchy, it just doesn't feel good. I mean, that sound there is what's rubbing against my skin and I don't like it. So these are a no, uh, despite actually kind of fitting. So we will move on to no's and see what we have next. Next two pieces, we have this amazing colored top. I have it ruched up right here. It does have the, the little seam ruching on the side, but watch this. I mean, tell me that that's not a mini dress from the 80s. Um, so, you know, for those who are brave enough, this can do that. Uh, it, it is dull mini and it fits all right. It's actually rather comfortable. The fabric is lovely. And uh, the ruching is good for those bad days that we all have. Um, so I don't dislike it, and I do like it, but I don't know if I love it. So we have another possibly. Now let's talk about these bad boys. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. <clears throat> First off, they fit like a dream. Um, you can see that when I do this though, I get that little poke out in the back, but since, you know, leggings aren't pants, I don't think that that would really be a problem because no one would ever see that except for me and you. <laughs> uh, they just fit amazingly. They are, they don't have any compression um, because they aren't really that tight. They're just the perfect tightness to where I don't feel squished in any way. I actually have a little bit of room right here where it's not even touching my skin. Uh, and look at the length. Look, they're long enough. This is amazing. Um, and if I remember right, these were like $16. <laughs> I think that these uh, are a definite yes. These are going to stay with me and the Target ones can be relegated to something that isn't my first string because these are definitely first string and I can't believe it. I have been looking so hard <laughs> for faux leather leggings and I even tried the, um, the uh, $50 Banks ones from Target and they made this incredibly hideous noise every time I moved. Listen. Nothing. I don't get that <laughs> sound that I was getting with them. It was so scary. Like this squeak, squeak, squeak. Don't get that with these. And uh, I like them very much. So, winner. We will now move on. I think there's a few tops left. Be right back. I feel like I should be asking my daddy if I can have an ice cream. Um, I just, I, I don't like baby doll tops. I just don't. Um, the color is beautiful. The fabric is nice. I even like the little button detail, which normally I'm not a huge fan of buttons that aren't functional, but these actually look nice against the yellow. Uh, I just, no. <laughs> I mean, I should have bloomers on, you know, or something. Um, I just don't feel like this particular grown-up should ever wear a baby doll. <laughs> it just doesn't work for me. I, I can't. Uh, I love the color. I love the fabric. Hopefully a shirt that is more fitted um, can be sent in this color. I actually like the sleeves, though. So let's talk about the positives. The fabric is amazing. The color is amazing. The sleeves are great. They're a good length. I like this length of sleeve. It hides everything that one could ask to be hidden without being too long and bugging. Oh, hi, poof. Uh, but this is going to be another no, and it's a shame because I love the color. Uh, baby dolls. I don't get it. I'm so sad that they're coming back. They're everywhere now. <laughs> It's killing me. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Here is this corset-ish top. 
right here and it's cinched in pretty much as much as it can be which creates a little bit of a peplum effect going on here but as you can see it doesn't suck it in at all to what one would expect from a corset top it you know seems like it should actually suck it into where the shirt fits your form um, and this one does not it leaves lots of floppy flowy room it's completely in the back because it's just too big um, again the, the shoulder seams are way out here way past where they should be um, so it's just too big the sleeves are kind of cool but again just too big so this is a no and even if it fit I'm not sure that at my particular stage this is something that I would wear anyhow um, this is something that if it fit properly I totally would have worn in my 20s yeah yeah I would have done that but I'm not so sure that a corset top is my jam at this stage so let's move on. I, actually, there's a, a top and a dress left, but the dress looks super short, so I might just keep these bad boys on under it <laughs> so that uh, I'm safe. We'll see. Here is this stunning coral color top. I just absolutely love it. I like the sleeve length, and I like how they don't really stick out too much when you have your arms down. You know, some t-shirts do that whole thing where it's like, Whoop. I don't care for that. Um, and the pocket is so interesting. I just can't. That's just amazing. It's like I have an, a, an armed attack boob. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of into it and kind of not. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's stunning. And what's interesting, I just noticed this, is that um, the studs that are stitched on here, look. The stitching goes through the pocket and through the t-shirt into the inside so the pocket can't sag which is kind of cool because it's sewn this way. Oh, you want me to toss this for you? Uh, so the color is stunning. Um, the attack boob is extremely amazing. Here's what it looks like tucked in. Comes down nicely in the back. And here it is out. It actually works quite well for me for legging land. Uh, and the fit is, is okay. It's a teeny bit big, but not much. Um, it's not bad and hangy and droopy and whatever. It's just the easiest bit too big. And because it's rayon, it probably shrink a teeny bit when I wash it. So. Um, able to work with this bad boy. I'm not sure. <laughs> the attack boob is making me laugh. I can't help it. <laughs> um, the color is just so stunning. I, I, I love it. So um, this is also going to be a maybe just uh, for giggles. I, I would honestly wear this anywhere pretty much. <laughs> I would have so much fun <laughs> with this. Okay, the last thing is the black and white dress. Be right back. Here is the last item. This little black dress with the white on the collar and shoulder and down here at the cuff. Uh, no pockets, but it's a little bit more, um, not form-fitting, but it goes in a little bit more than the other two dresses did. And it's really only, you know, that much above my knee which isn't too bad. Sadly, it does not have pockets. <laughs> it's, this kind of gives it a little bit of a sporty vibe, I think, that um, this would lend itself more to some uh, little white tennies than it does to little uh, platform wedges or anything. Um, it feels wonderful, of course, because it's, you know, a rayon blend. I'm kind of wondering if my daughter might like this this would be amazing for her to wear to school um, so I might check with her and I don't know that I would necessarily keep it for me but if she likes it and it fits her well then I might keep it for her so that's everything 
let's go to the wrap-up. We're back. Okay, we have our pile of notes right here, which is all the accessories. And then one, two, three, four, five um, items of clothing. I'm not counting the scarf, I'm counting that as an accessory. And then we have our maybe pile, which is over here, which is shockingly big. One, two, three, four, five as well. So, um, my daughter said no to this dress, um, but I'm considering it for me. Like I said, with some little white tennies, that would be kind of cute. So let me just double check here. The dresses, the cheapest one is $36. Uh, and then we have a 42 and a 45. So I think I'm going to go with um, no on all the dresses. I think that I could find uh, similar items um, at like Walmart or Ross or Target uh, for a bit less than that. So that get ri gets rid of oof, three of those maybes. Um, oh no, sorry, we also have these bad boys. I didn't even take them off. Uh, so we have these pants, um, the Catwoman. Those are $16.99. I am keeping them. That's that. Uh, this shirt, uh, vote for me. Should I keep the attack boob shirt? I love the collar. I absolutely love it. And while this is not something I ever would have picked out for myself. I'm abused. <laughs> so uh, let's see on that. That is, it's $12. I mean, it's almost worth it just for the laughs alone. Every time I would pull it out, I'd giggle to myself. So there's that. And then this one. Um, there it is, the Vena. $25, um, well, $24.50. I don't know that I really need it for that. Um, it is nice, but I don't know that it's that nice. The color is stunning. That's where they get me, as with colors. <sighs> so that's another one I need help on. Let me check the fabric here. I don't think I did on this one. Yeah, 95 rayon, 5% spandex, like I thought. Um, I mean, I would wear it, but not often. So I'm not sure that uh, $25 is something I'm willing to do. So that's still in the maybe pile along with this. And then there is the this beauty. again the color <laughs> it's stunning and this could be dressed up or down and it's so comfortable absolutely ridiculously comfortable and this is $23 um, I think for a skirt that's far more worth it than um, it would be if it were a t-shirt so this, I think I'm just going to keep. So we have the, the pants and the skirt that I'm definitely going to keep. And then we have these two maybes that I need you to help me with. So go ahead and let me know in the comments what you think about these two and whether I should keep them or toss them in this bad boy envelope and send them on back. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so thank you for watching and please let me know below what your vote is on the boob attack skirt and the 1980s mini dress shirt <laughs> thank you